Hi, this is Tammy, NZ Gastric Slave. I'm coming to you with my month four update. Um, it is also a few days late for my week 17, um, as I didn't do my Wednesday update this week. I was just a little bit busy, and I thought I'm going to be doing one on Sunday anyway. So, it's Sunday the 21st of... September, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on August the 21st, um, 2014 at Wellington Private Hos uh, Public Hospital um, with specialist Mr. Simon Ban, and that was through the public New Zealand Health funding. Um, I did have to wait a long time. Um, most of you that have seen my earlier videos, it was pretty much, it was just over two years from when I first had the referral from my um, GP or my PCP um, through to um, have the actual surgery. So while I saved myself about 19,000 New Zealand dollars, um, I lost two years basically. I could have well and truly had the surgery. Sorry, that's just my washing machine if you hear that. Um, I could have well and truly had it and been at goal and probably be have been pregnant and have a little baby by now if I had have done it sooner and paid for it but that's by and by we had that money at, the, at that two years ago but we bought a house <laughs> so um we're living here because of the weight and um I probably wouldn't have done anything differently if I we were more financially viable and we um had the extra 20k, of course I would have done it sooner. Um, so, this, this, this month, what has happened? I'll do this week first. So, um, week 17, week 16, I, um, I weighed 84.1 kilos, uh, or, sorry, I'm just swapping pounds to kilos on my, weight um or 185.4 pounds um and for two week 17 i lost 300 grams or 0 0.7 or 7 ounces 300 grams or 7 ounces so it was negligible um it's been an interesting month this month i have lost very little up until the last few days um, and it's funny because last month was a little bit similar it's like it knows that I'm coming to the end of the um, of the month and I want to make sure I've got a good monthly weight and it uh, um, is just kind of kick-starting it um, so on Wednesday when I did the weigh-in and it was 300 grams I think at that point for the month I had because I had a maintain I had a 500 grams and a 1.1 so that took me to to 1.8 for the month at that point so that's four uh, pretty much four weeks I'd lost 1.8 kilos um, which would be uh, four and a half pounds four and a half four point seven or something pounds um and then so my plan was um on thursday morning i was thinking okay i'm gonna do a few days of liquids however <laughs> that was my intention um i did have some quest bars in there as well but i was kind of like well that's just pure protein 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 um but that kind of got knocked up a little bit because I had already had a lunch date planned with an old colleague on the Thursday and I was like okay cool I'll, the cafe will have soup spring here now so soups are off the menu um so I ended up having a salad still healthy choice but it wasn't the liquids that I was wanting to go for then Friday what happened on Friday it was Wednesday Wednesday that I had the lunch date Thursday, I ended up with salad. Oh, I went to go and get a protein shake. Um, and so Tank, which I get my protein shakes from during the work day, um, do these really yummy salads. And so I got a salad and it was beautiful. It was carrot and beetroot, all julienned with feta 
and nuts and there wasn't any protein in it but I kind of paired that where I had a little bit of protein shake and then I had the salad and then I had the rest of the protein shake later in the afternoon so for the day my protein was fine and I only ate like a quarter of that so I left leftovers for Friday so I pretty much the three days that I was meant to be having my quads I had salads for lunch um, and yeah, the liquid thing just didn't really happen. I, I did have a couple of extra protein shakes thrown in there that um, I might not have. Um, and the other thing is fr both Friday and Saturday nights, so it's Sunday morning here now, both Friday and Saturday night I was drinking wine. Friday was the first time I'd drunk in wine since surgery. I need, no, sorry, that's a lie. Two weeks ago, the Friday, I drank wine. So second and third times this weekend, I've drunk in wine. Um, both times, I had four glasses. That's not good for my calorie count. But. Um, and so then the other thing that I decided on, I think on Friday, was that, um, so my goal had been 800 calories up until now, I think. It went up from 600 to 800 in maybe week two or something two or three um and so I decided that I'm going to up my goal to a thousand because I was finding it increasingly harder to get under that 800 um I am I think I am eating a little bit more and I'm tolerating um carbs a little bit more not that I'm going out and eating bread or whatever but um as far as say if I'm having like last night I had a roast chicken dinner um, and I ate so roast chicken, I had carrots and I had some spud or potato, but some roasted potato, but I, it was my, my friends where we were at that she's quite a health fanatic. So it was roasted with just a little bit of spray oil. So it didn't have a lot. It wasn't like a fatty roasted potato. Um, and actually it was in little pieces. So I had about four or five little pieces, which probably was no more than a third of a, of a potato. Um, but weeks earlier I wouldn't have even been able to do that I would have had one bit and I would have been that would have filled me up to the point um, so New Zealand is very much like Australia where the recommendation is on a balanced diet not on only protein no carbs um, I do find I in the past have lost more when I have limited the amount of carbs that I've had um, and I don't know whether that's kind of changing so for the month I've had a really bad loss However, in the last, since Wednesday, I have lost 1.8 kilos or 4 pounds, Wednesday to Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 4 days, I've lost 4 pounds or 1.8 kilos. So my plan of doing a pouch test, liquids, Went by the wayside, but I still shed a heap of weight. As much weight as what I had lost in the month to date. I can't explain it. I was over my calorie count for the last two days because of the wine. Don't know. Don't know what's happening here. So anyway, month three, I was 85.5 kilos and this morning I was 82. So that's a loss for the month of 3.5 kilos, which is my lowest month by far. Um, or let's do that pounds. Uh, 188.5 to 180.8 so that's 7.7 .7 pounds for the month 7.7 .7 pounds yeah so I'm sitting on 82 kilos or 180.8 pounds um I so in the month I had 10 days of pretty much no exercise and then I've had three weeks of high intensity team training so I can kind of get why my loss in the earlier month was so low. Um, and But then I've also had a body composition done yesterday. So I'll go into those figures as well. And I've done my measurements this morning. Um, another interesting thing is, so 
at the gym, um, they've got a body composition weight, but it's it's not high tech like the one I go and get done um, with the leads. It's just stand on and it'll tell you your body fat percentage. So I had that done on Friday. So that was kind of like three weeks into the program, of, uh, three weeks into an eight week program. And I had a good loss. I mean, on their scales between that period, I'd lost three point something kilos. So um, three point something or four or something. Um, and so my trainer was really impressed with that. And she was like, oh, what's your goal weight? And so, well, I haven't completely kind of come to an exact goal weight, but I think it would be something around 63. And she's like, oh, that's really low. Now she is my height, five foot two as well. She's tiny. She's probably about 59 kilos, if she's lucky. So I found that quite difficult. I mean, A, a trainer saying, oh no, that's not that that's too little. You don't want to look gaunt. She's in her oh, I don't know. Mid to late forties, early fifties kind of weight. She's tiny, she's skinny, very athletic, um, and you're saying, oh no, you don't want to look gaunt. So her, her, her other response was, well, and I said, well, I have been that weight before, and she's like, oh, how old were you? <laughs> like, she knew, um, and I was like, oh, I was 17, and she's like, well, that'll be different now, and I said, oh, I know it will be different, because at that point, I was a big 12, small 14. Um, of course, that was... 15 years ago um, and sizing's changed a great deal in that time um, and I said well I, I know it'll change because I'm in a 14 now and I don't see 20 kilos down that I'll only go down one size um, so I know that'll be different but again I'm really of the case once I get down into the low 70s I'll have a better idea based on my body composition and how I'm feeling and what what is left to go as to where my final kind of goal will be. Um, I mean, 63 is where I go into a healthy BMI. Um, I would like to get there even for a little while, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so my body composition from yesterday actually says that a normal range for me, based on my current body lean, would be 63 to 68 kilos. So I definitely think it's achievable to get to the 63. Ideally, I'd like to get into the 50s because my BMI says that I should be 49 to 63. So I would like to probably get to 58, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so on these scales, I was 83.7. So that's 1.7 more than what I was this morning. But different scales. I think the last time I was on there, I was... Um, I was 86.1, so on their scales I've lost 1.1 and 1.3, 2.4, yeah I've lost 2.4 kilos in the month on their scales, yeah, um, so my lean weight uh, had gone down, which Three weeks of intense weight training, didn't quite get. So that went from 51.9 kilos to 49.7 kilos. And of course, the normal ranges and percentages are all based off that lean weight. So because that had gone down, my other percentages had gone up, actually. So my fat um, went from 34.2 kilos to 34.0. So um, they're saying I lost 200 grams of fat. In a month. That can't be right. I don't, it can't be right. So my fat percentage went from 39.7% to 40.6. Again, because that lean weight went down and my fat weight didn't go down so much, I kind of lost muscle. I can't, oh, well, it does say my dry weight went from 14.2 kilos to 13.9. So on these scales, I've lost 300 grams of muscle basically and I've lost 200 grams of fat so that's 500 grams so where's the other where's the other 1.9 kilos gone um 
but actually I can answer that because my water was also down. So I was 37.7 and it was down to 35.8. However, I have been drinking 2.25 litres to 3 litres a day. So that is uh, 75 to 100 ounces a day. So I've definitely been getting in my minimum. Most days it's the 4, which is 3 litres, 100 ounces. I have no problem getting my water in. However, because this was done yesterday, I'd been drinking the night before, I knew I was dehydrated. But not dehyd really dehydrated, but that's probably what this water is. So if my water was up to that, then the rest of the figures would have been altered. So, I don't know. Probably a good plan, don't drink the night before a body composition. Um, so that's my stats for this month. I'm not terribly happy with them. There's not a lot of movement. Um, I'm thinking, so this is month four. I'm thinking that I won't go again until month two. So my best friend came with me and she got it done as well. She's like 60 kgs. Um, she's taller than me. She's, she's, um, 167. So she's eight centimeters taller than me and she's 58 to 60 kilos. So I know that it's doable, um, at that weight. Um, but we'll kind of see. Um, and so she, while she, on her her scales, I think she was sixty one there. But on her scales in the morning, she was fifty eight. So the scales are different. Um, so they put her as twenty eight percent body fat, and she's tiny. She's like a size eight, and she's like a four. She's a, she's like a size four US, and they're saying she's twenty eight percent body fat. So. We'll see. We'll see where I get to. We'll see where we go to. Measurements. 17 minutes. Um. Okay. Neck. I have lost, this month, I have lost 1.5 centimetres off my neck, um, 2 centimetres off my bust, 3 centimetres off my under bust, 1 centimetre off my waist, 2.5 centimetres off my hips, 1 centimetre off my left bicep, 1 centimetre off my right bicep, half a centimetre off my left forearm, 1 centimetre off my right forearm, one centimetre off my thigh, a uh, left thigh, one centimetre off my right thigh, one centimetre off my calf, and two centimetres off my right calf. So, reasonably throughout. Um, reasonably consistent. I'm quite happy with my neck measurement. That's 1.5. I lost nothing the month before, and one. So, since surgery, that's five centimetres off my neck. And I am, I am noticing, I mean, I've still got a little bit, I think you always have a little bit here, but I'm starting to notice the colour bones. Oh, look. They're still not fully popping out. I probably think it'll still be another 5 kgs before I'm easily able to see them, but they're there. They're just there. Um, So I know that my neck measurement has a lot to do with that. So that's can't wait. Can't wait. Um, what else has been happening? Um, so in this month I've bought a bike, I've only been out once though, the weather, while we're in spring, um, the weather for the last four or five days has been absolutely atrocious, it has been raining, it has been cold, um, feels like the depths of winter. Um, so I'm really excited for winter to warm up, I'm also excited for a new iPhone. <laughs> I have to wait an extra month because of my plan. If I get a new phone now, they'll charge me an extra $300 for early plan cancellation. So I have to wait an extra month, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? Um, so really excited for that. And I'm excited when the watches come out to see whether I might be able to replace my Fitbit with the watch. Uh, we'll see. I like the idea of it being on the wrist. Um, I have washed two Fitbits because them being attached to my bra. Um, I also have got, forgotten to wear it. <laughs> so that screws my stats for the week. But um, okay, 19 minutes. I am going to leave it there. Um, what I do want to know is... 
what sort of topics do you want me to start talking about? Because with my weight loss slowing down, doing weekly updates is a little bit, I mean, I still want to do them, but I want to start be talking about stuff that is relevant, that people want to know about. Um, I, yeah, so leave a question on something, that a topic that you want me to talk about. Um, and we will start kind of doing some stuff. Okay. See you guys.